fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World, and today we're here at Lake Bled here in Slovenia. And today we're going to talk about are some of the don'ts of European train travel, because traveling Europe means taking the train to go and find gorgeous places like Lake Bled and here in Slovenia, or going through the Alps in Switzerland, or maybe going along the coast in Portugal, or, or riding along the rails up to Edinburgh in Scotland, and you have all these great train adventures, and there's a bunch of train trips you should do, but there are some don'ts you do need to know about before you come so you don't make any mistakes, okay? Because I want you to have the best time possible when you do ride the rails here in Europe. And the first don't I have for you to make sure you get on the right train is don't forget to check the signs and keep checking the signs. You know when you come to the train station, they have the big board there and it'll tell you where your train is going to be and what track it's going to be. So you'll head to that track and you'll think it's the one that's going to be up there and you'll hop on and it turns out it's the wrong train. It's happened to me. It's happened to multiple people. So make sure you're always looking at the sign. When you come in the station, also you might see boards up that actually have the daily schedule. You can check there. But also when you're on the train tracks, make sure you look up and see, does it say it's going to Ljubljana or is it the train that's going to Trieste? You want to make sure you're getting on the right one. Otherwise you might end up in the wrong location. Okay. So always be checking those things. All right. And don't be afraid to ask the conductor or anyone like, Hey, is this the train going to Ljubljana? Is this the train going to Vienna? Because most likely people will be understanding the biggest city that you're probably going to, they'll let you know. Okay. So don't forget to look at the signs. And the thing is, is when you get that is that my next don't for you is don't think anyone will feel sorry for you if you miss your connection. Look, there's so many train connections. There's so many trains going all the time in Europe that you're bound to miss a connection. It happens. Trains run late. It does happen. You do have those tight 10 minute connections that you sometimes don't miss. Don't worry. There'll be another train coming through, but don't expect people to feel sorry for you. Okay. So just know that, Hey, it happens. We'll just go find out when the next train is and we'll go from there. Now my next don't has to do for my non-European travelers. And a lot of people ask about getting a Eurorail pass. And my don't for that is don't think that getting a Eurorail pass is going to be a better budget bet than actually just buying tickets on your own. Because the thing is, unless you're young, like under 26 or something like that, Eurorail most likely is not going to be a big, you know, budget saver for you. It might actually be more money. So what I would do is go check the local train websites like Bondi in Germany or Train Italia in Italy and see what the train costs are. And you might see that if you're only taking a few trains, it might be cheaper for you just to buy the ticket right out versus getting a Euro rail pass or something like that. Okay. Now going along with those online bookings and stuff like that, my next don't for you is don't forget to pre book tickets on really busy days to really busy cities. So if you're going to Rome on a Friday or Munich during Oktoberfest or stuff like that, you need to pre book your tickets. And what's cool on some of the train lines, if you pre book a couple days before or longer, you might get some discounted tickets. So that's nice. Another don't I have for you is don't be cheap when it comes to the reservations. Look, I see a lot of people that are sitting between the two train cars with all their bags with nowhere to sit because they got on a train that was totally full on a busy time of the day and they got nowhere to sit. And the thing is you have nobody to blame but yourself because the reservations, the seat reservations, maybe three euros, four euros to get a seat reservation on a train. So think about it this way. You're spending, you know, 50 euros on a train ticket, spend three euros more and you have yourself a seat the entire way. Okay. So don't cheap out on that. That's one of the biggest things. Also, if you've got a Eurorail pass, that does not include a seat reservation. So you'll need to go and buy a seat reservation as well. And I think another don't I should say with the Eurorail is don't think your Eurorail pass will let you jump on any train. You got to make sure it's one of the trains that are accepted by it. If you have to have a seat reservation, because some trains are only with seat reservations, you got to check these things out. Okay. And I'm saying this because you got to realize my next don't for you is don't assume all of the trains are the same. For example, I was heading to Venezia Santa Lucia. So Santa Lucia station in Venice. And I saw there was three options from Vicenza where I was going. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. First train was the Freccia. That was quite expensive. The next train that left 10 minutes later was a regional train. And then the train that was 30 minutes after that was a fast regional train, uh, like a Veloce regional. Okay. The thing was, is obviously the Freccia, the fast trains that got there faster. And the thing is they've got the nice seats and reverse reserve seats. And it's just 
a really beautiful, beautiful train, but it's expensive. The regional train, yeah, it stopped like 50 times along the way and took like an hour to get there almost. Then there was the regional fast train that had like four or five stops, but it got there in 35 minutes. And so you have to realize is just because it's going to the same place doesn't mean you're gonna get the same kind of service. So make sure you're checking out which one you're gonna be on. Don't assume just because it's the first one that says it goes to Munich, it'll be the first one that gets there. So definitely check those things out. Also, don't think every train ticket will work on every single train. Just because you have a train that says it goes to Trieste, you need to make sure you're getting on the right one. So if it's a regional you can get onto, or a Frecci or something like that, the fast trains, you do need to be careful with that. Same thing if you're in Germany with the ICEs versus the Regional Express, you gotta make sure you have the right tickets for those. Now, when you get on the train, I do have some don'ts for you. One, obviously any train or any kind of passenger, anything, don't bring stinky food on the train because it gets enclosed and it gets quite stinky and it just kind of builds up and everyone around you will hate you, okay? So have a heads up for that. Now, I'm not saying don't bring food on the train because you know what? Don't expect there always to be food on the train when you go. Longer trains, the longer distance you're gonna go, the more likely there might be a little imbus there or maybe a restaurant car or something like that or maybe just somebody with a card. Other trains, a regional train, there might not be. So do know that, okay? Another thing I'd say is when you're on the train, don't always expect to have a bathroom. Now, a lot of times there will be a bathroom, especially on the long distance ones, but don't expect it to be super clean all the time because they do vary quite often. So do have a heads up for that. Also, in terms of the bathrooms, don't use the bathroom at the stations if you're on one of the older trains because some of the older trains, it just falls out onto the tracks and you could get a fine, which, which has happened to people before. It does happen, just like, you know, what happens. So do have a heads up for that. If it's a newer train, you don't have to worry about that. But on the older ones, I would say don't use the restroom at the stops. And speaking of the stops, don't forget to look and see what are the stops before your stop so you're kind of ready to get off the train when it is your stop. Because you may hear, oh, it's Venezia Mestre, oh, that's my stop. And you're like, oh, I don't have time to get off. They're not going to wait for you. So if you know the next couple stops before yours, that helps you be ready for it. So you're kind of like, okay, let's get our bags down. Let's head out to the door. So when we get there, boom, we can head out. Now, the other day when I was coming here, I saw a few people leaning out the window to get their kind of selfie pictures and stuff like that. Don't put your hands and heads and arms out the window, okay? Because the train tracks are so close to each other that the other trains go phew, zipping by. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a good thing. So do be careful with that one, all right? Another thing I would say is in some places, don't forget to validate your ticket before you get on the train. So if you're in Germany, you're gonna take an S-Bahn, like a local city train kind of stuff. You're probably gonna get a ticket, you probably need to validate it before you get on. If you're gonna be in Italy and you're on a regional train, you might need to validate it as well. Some of the faster trains, you don't have to validate it. Some of them comes by and stamps your ticket. There are these things out there, but make sure you know if you need to validate before you get on or not, because you know what? They don't care that you're a tourist, you're gonna get the fine for not having a valid ticket. So now we're here in Vicenza, Italy, and I want to give you a few more don'ts that are really important when you're going to travel around. And when we're looking at our luggage, you don't want to pack too much in your luggage when you're traveling here in Europe, because a lot of times there's not a lot of space to put your luggage. But also, don't forget, you've got to take that luggage and lift it up and put it up in that bin above. And if you can't do that, well, you're going to have some issues, okay? So do be ready for that. And when you do have your luggage, don't ever let your luggage get out of your sight. Whether you're on the train, or you're at the train station, don't leave your bags with people, okay? Put your bag above where you're sitting, or if you have a bigger bag you put at the end of the train, make sure it's in the part where it's in your line of sight, because sometimes at train stations, you know, things go missing occasionally. Not always, like I'm not really too worried on the trains in Europe, but it is something you do wanna pay attention with, but especially in the train station, because don't forget to keep your eyes and ears and hands and everything aware when you're in the train station because that's where more of the nefarious stuff when it comes to train travel actually happens and that's why don't accept any help from anybody at any of those kiosks when you're buying your tickets that aren't official people working for the train okay because some people like to go up there and scout you out sometimes they're just trying to get a little money for their help but it's just better you can figure it out on your own because it has multiple languages no matter where you go it'll be in the local language english and probably german will be another option no matter where you are so you can figure out those kiosks yourself now when you're using those kiosks or you're trying to find tickets another don't i have for you is don't be surprised if you want to buy an international ticket going between countries if you can't buy it at a kiosk 
you might need to go to the ticket office to buy it just to have a heads up for that. So if you're thinking to get that last minute ticket, oh, I'm here in Vicenza, I'll get my ticket to up to Denmark through Germany just online, you know, at, at, at Train Italia or at the kiosk. Sometimes those are a little more complicated, so you do need to go to the train station and buy those. So give yourself a little bit of a heads up. And, and I think it's really important is don't forget to actually book your tickets early because a lot of tickets you can buy online. I do recommend buying it directly from the train company. So if you're in Italy, Train Italia. If you're in Germany, the Deutsche Bahn. Go to their websites and buy their tickets there, okay? But if you book early with them, a lot of times there's really good discounts like up to 50% off, or if you're with a family, there might be a family pass, the kid goes for free. So don't forget to book early and look for those deals. Now, when you're on the train, one thing that always kind of surprises people when I'm traveling with them is don't be surprised when that local that's sitting next to you whips out a tinfoil piece of something and unwraps it and it's some sandwich or it's some other thing because the food on the train is not always cheap, okay? So people will bring their food with them. So don't be surprised if people bring their food with them and they unravel from the tinfoil. But don't forget, you should bring some food with you too, just in case. That's why, whether you're at the train station or at the supermarket before you go, and one thing that's cool, a lot of the train stations actually have supermarkets in them here in Europe, so you can grab a snack or two instead of playing the sometimes inflated prices on the trains, because I also got to tell you, don't expect a restaurant car on every train and don't expect fantastic food on the train as well. That's one thing. Now, sometimes you can get some good stuff. And, and I will say in Europe, a lot of times those domestic trains will actually have domestic food. Like I was in Finland traveling around and they had the rice pastry. That's a very popular thing in Finland. I was like, oh, that's cool. And when I was here in Italy, they had the a piadina. I was like, oh, that's nice. So they may have some local snacks on the train, which is really cool. But don't expect to be uber wowed when it comes to the food on the trains. Also, if you're on some of those short trains, like the regional trains, don't always expect to have a bathroom or a clean bathroom. But also, if it's a look when you're going to the bathroom, because there's still some older, older trains. So there's certain parts of Europe that actually the water that when you flush it, it just drops right onto the train tracks. Make sure you don't, 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 don't use that at the train station. OK, you don't want to get in trouble for that when you're there. I've gotten in trouble with that for that before. There was nothing I could do, but the Swiss were uh, very understanding when I explained my situation, okay? Well, let's go back to Slovenia for some more don'ts. So my next don't for you is, if you're gonna be just traveling in a region, sometimes they actually do have regional passes. Now, I know I said don't get Eurorail necessarily, but this is a little different. For example, in Germany, they have the Bayern ticket and you can travel anywhere in the state of Bayern on the regional trains and the regional expresses. You know, not the fast trains, but the decent enough trains. You can do that. And those things can be great value for your money, especially if you're traveling in groups. And that's one of the things I wanna say is, don't forget to ask if there's a deal if you're in a group. There might be a family pass for tickets, there might be group passes, things like that, which can really save a lot of money because my next don't for you is, don't think train travel is always cheap when you're here in Europe. Now, some places, yeah, the train from Trieste to Slovenia, it's like eight, 10 euros, you know, it was not very expensive at all, you know, so it was really great. But then my train ride from Berlin to Munich, yeah, it was over a hundred euros. You're like, whoa, this is getting kind of pricey, okay? So make sure you're checking those things out beforehand. And that's why a don't I have for you is, if you're gonna be doing a long distance train ride, maybe my don't for you is, don't forget to check the cheap airlines like EasyJet or Vueling and see if they have options to fly to those places because it'll take you a lot less time and sometimes it's a lot less money to fly that way. So do have a heads up for that. Now my next don't for you when you're on the train is don't talk loud or don't have a live conversation on your phone. Look, there's actually trains that have quiet zones on them so people aren't supposed to talk. And the thing is you'll hear people getting really, really loud or really, really loud on their phones and they're there. So please don't do that because you do kind of annoy your, your fellow passengers. And also that seat next to you, don't put your luggage on the seat next to you on a busy train because people want to sit there. And you may be like, I don't speak German. I can pretend like I don't understand them. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to move your stuff because they'll make you move your stuff. Another don't I have for you is don't be afraid to tell people they're sitting in your seat when you have that reservation. This is one thing I've happened quite often in Germany because I'll get the reservation seats and I'll come and people will be in our seats. I'm like, hey, we're wagon 24, seat 50 and 51. And they're like, are you sure? Show me your ticket. I'm like, it's right here, pal. And they're like, well, I don't know. I'm like, get up 
and they'll, I mean, eventually they'll get up or don't be afraid to go to the conductor and tell them they won't move so you can get your seat because you paid the money for that. They didn't, so don't be afraid to tell them that, okay? And I guess that goes into another thing with the conductors. If you have any questions at all, don't be afraid to ask the conductors. They're there to help you, okay? And if you need to know like where a connection is or, or when your next train is or when you get in or what the next stop is, they can help you out, okay? So definitely ask them for some help. Another don't I have for you is don't worry, you're gonna have to run sometimes. Look, like I said, trains will be delayed or you'll be on the wrong platform or something like that. You will eventually be running, okay? So just be ready for that and know that's part of the adventure. So be okay with it when you're gonna be on the train. And my last don't for you when you're on the train, don't forget to look out the window because you'll see beauty like this here in Slovenia and other countries. And the thing is, if you're just sitting on your phone reading or you're sitting on your phone playing games and stuff like that, you miss the beauty out the window of train travel. So I hope this helps you know better what you don't do when you're on the trains here in Europe. If you want to learn more, we have tons of videos on what don't do or culture shocks or the best and worst of different places from all over the Europe, all over the US, all over the world. And if you do like travel videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and you'll get new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday in your feed and I just want to say I just want to say thank you all for watching please give us a big like and I'll give a special thank you to all our patrons on patreon who help make travel videos like this possible honest travel videos notice I'm not trying to sell you anything am I no I'm focused on being honest and patrons on our patreon site really make a difference to help this happen so if you want to learn how you can help us keep making honest travel videos go to patreon.com slash Walters world to find out more and I'll say bye from here at Lake Vled in Slovenia